Hey guys, this is your boy Passive Crypto checking in with another video. Now this video is going to be interesting because I'm going to do what one of my um, people that watch my videos asked me to do. They wanted to know and me to share my story of how I got into crypto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how I got into crypto and I'm about to um, collect money because it's payday, everyday payday, but I'm trying to collect this money too. So I'm going to do both things. I'm going to collect my money from different platforms and I'm going to talk about how I got into crypto. So, all right, let's get it. So, 2017, 2017, um, I was watching a series, um, a guy called Alex Jones. Now, Alex Jones, this is him right here. Alex Jones was a guy that uh, has a conspiracy theory type show at that time. I really don't watch Alex Jones no more, but I used to in around 2017. So he had a guy on called, his name is Max Kaiser. Now Max Kaiser has his own show called The Kaiser Report, I think that is, on RT, where he talks about economics and um, currencies. And basically, general investing in general. So, Max Kaiser was on Alex Jones' show, and they was talking about Bitcoin. I think this was around 2017. Uh, 2017, maybe around, I want to say 2017, um, January, February. I think that was around February, February or March. So around 2017, February, March, I was listening to Alex Jones and Max Kaiser. So it was talking about Bitcoin. So that's when Bitcoin got on my radar. And I was like, dang, at that time, I think Bitcoin was only like maybe $1,500. And um, they was talking about it. So I was like, dang, uh, this is something I want to get in. Now, mind you, at that time, I didn't know that you could buy fractions of Bitcoin. I thought you had to buy a whole Bitcoin. And your boy, at that time, I didn't have $1,200 to buy a whole Bitcoin. So fast forward like a, maybe like a month later, it shot up to, I think it was, it went from like 1500 to like 2800 right? So at that time, my boy, my best friend's giving his mother her birthday. It was around maybe April. Yep, it was in April. And I was talking to my my fellas about Bitcoin and how I'm going to get in. I just got to get the money so I can buy a whole Bitcoin. Because once again, I didn't do too much research on it. I was just talking about it. Then when that boy shot up again, I was like, oh, shoot. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to look into this. So I started going on YouTube, right? So I went on YouTube. And I typed in cryptocurrencies uh, and some other stuff. And then this is what came up. It came up with Trayvon James. So I saw Trayvon James. I'll never forget it. He was sitting on the couch and he was, you know, smoking something. And he was talking about how he getting all his money. And this platform called, you guessed it, Big Connect. And I was like, oh, my God, look at all this money this dude is making. Well, he's saying he's making some money. And then I seen within a short period of time, his whole situation changed. His, life, his living situation and everything changed. And then he started showing his, uh, his account on BitConnect and how much money he making. And I was like, dang, I got to get in this stuff. And then I still didn't know that you can buy fractions of uh, Bitcoin. So, then this name came up. The name was Coinbase. I think it was Coinbase at that time. And then it was like, hey, you can open up an account on Coinbase, and then you can buy some Bitcoin through Coinbase, and then send it to BitConnect. Right? So, BitConnect, if you're not familiar with BitConnect, BitConnect was a lending platform where traders traded bitcoin for bitconnect coin and then you can lock up this coin for i think it was like three months six months nine months in a year so i think it was something like that and then your value of the coin was uh set for a period of time where you earn interest calculated daily 
The interest payouts was based on this trading bot. And then the trader bot, you know, paid out interest every day. And it was based, it was supposed to, the bot was supposed to be trading cryptocurrencies, right? And then you, you know what I'm saying, you earn interest every day based on how many coins you had locked up, right? So I got into that, you know what I'm saying, and it was going well, then boom, it crashed quick. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of FUD, divided the crypto market, I ain't gonna even lie. Um, it was a lot of negativity swarming around it. And be honest with you, I wasn't promoting at that time. I was just like most people that's watching my channel. I was just getting my foot in and I uh, decided to, to give it a shot, you know. And then once I did that, I made a little money, but I didn't make much, man, because like I say, it was a lot of FUD around it. And it was, it was like two camps. It was the people that loved it and then the people that hated it in crypto. It was a, I'm not going to name no names of the people. But it was a lot of people that hated BitConnect. You know what I'm saying? And it was just a neg negative thing at that time. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, as of today, you know, they labeled it a Ponzi scheme and all this stuff or what have you, you know. But at that time, it was the biggest thing smoking and a lot of people... Who got into crypto they won't say it now but they got in because of bitconnect you know what i'm saying they might not have got in bitconnect at that time but they got into crypto investing and bought bitcoin for the first time because of bitconnect you know so that's what it was and like i say that's how i got in this right here bitconnect i swapped my Bitcoin for BitConnect token, then I put it in the lending platform and I locked it up. And then I was earning the tokens, you know what I'm saying? So I got up to maybe like $15 a day. And then by then that was the end of the platform, you know what I'm saying? It was start it was all downhill from there, you know. So that's what it was, you know. What the heck just happened here? Let me see, it's saying put it in the amount. I want to put in 100%. percent i me get rid of all these decimal points. So that was the, the, the beginning of passive crypto. But like I said, I wasn't promoting anything. Wait a minute. Yeah, I wasn't promoting anything. That was just when I first got in. Why this ain't deleting? Oh, yeah, so this stuff messing up. This stuff is definitely messing up. I don't know what's going on here. Let me refresh this page. But yeah, so that's how Passive Crypto got in. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was through BitConnect. And then I tried to get into, I don't know, if there's a lot of people that's going to watch this that's older heads. Remember Regal Coin. A lot of people in crypto made money off Regal Coin too. They was pissed in the beginning because they couldn't get their funds out. But the price shot up. And then when they was able to withdraw, the people that was able to withdraw made a, sh a, a boatload of money. That's how I'm going to put it. They made a boatload of money on this thing, you know. So that's my story, you know what I'm saying? It started off with Max Kaiser on Alex Jones, and then I saw Trayvon James. And then I didn't ask him anything in his videos. I basically just watched his videos and watched how he was able to move his money through the platform. And then I just uh, basically mimicked that. And that's how I learned how to move money from Coinbase to another platform. I watched his videos. You know what I'm saying? And this is how I got into crypto. 2017. That's when I got in. So back to these gangs, man. Like I said, it's back to these gangs. I'll figure this gram, gram out in a minute. Like, for some reason, I can't deposit my tokens for some reason why is that there we go it's coming up now might be the internet all right so according to this is it went through let's see what's going on here but yeah so that's my story say so deposit pending okay it's pending that's what it's doing so that's my story, man. Like I say, uh, 
Deposit success. Boom, it's over there. All right, finally went through. All righty then. So yeah, so that's my success. My uh, my story, man. Um, it's not not that complicated, you know what I'm saying? I watched Trayvon James, and um, what it was with me was I saw when he was sitting on that couch, you know what I'm saying? And he just looked like a regular guy from the uh, urban area, you know, that was trying to make ends meet. And when I seen, like, like quick, to me it was quick, might, might not have been to him, but it was like a snap of a finger, then boom, his situation changed. And then he was living in a better space, and he was making a lot of money. Then I said, I had to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I'm going to do it because it wasn't too much information on how to buy Bitcoin back then. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too many people that was telling you anything about how to actually buy it. It was people talking about it, but they weren't showing you how to buy it. So I watched his videos, and then I was like, okay, I pause it, and I see what he did, and then I rewind it, and I watch it again. And I was like, okay, so that's how he moved to crypto. You know what I'm saying? He did this, he did that, and then I got it. You know what I'm saying? I moved small amounts, so I wouldn't lose a lot if I didn't do it right. And I just kept watching his videos, you know. And so that's how I got in, you know. Um, first platform I invested in was BitConnect. And that's being honest. A lot of guys won't admit that. They say they never got in and all this crap, but... You know what I'm saying? Um, if you didn't get into BitConnect at that time, like, I mean, unless you were just holding tokens, even still, a lot of people did get in. It wasn't everybody, but a lot of people did get into BitConnect. But I was just a regular guy, and I was just trying to flip my money, you know, and I just had to figure it out. So what happened with that is, you know, it's a new age now. So I'm lucky. I'm glad I got in then. Because I already went through a bear market, and then I figured this thing out. That's the one thing. You got to be persistent in cryptocurrency and willing to learn new things um, because that's what helped me out. I, I saw with BitConnect because I had success with BitConnect. Like I said, I got up to like $15 a day. You know what I'm saying? And I was super happy with that. Like, like oh, my God. Like, I don't know what I, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you. And then, boom, it ended. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of sucked that it ended like how it did. But that's how I got in, you know. But I'm glad I got in at that time because I went through the um, I'm battle tested, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm confident in the things that I do now because I know just from going through that that I can make money in cryptocurrencies, you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of us that started around that time is doing so well now because we didn't been there. You know what I'm saying? I've been in crypto since 2017. It don't even seem like it's been that long, but it's been four years, you know. So I started four years ago. So it's 2018, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, four years ago. So I'm battle tested and, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy I got in then. You know what I'm saying? I started off losing money. I only lie. I was losing money. But Big Connect, Big Connect, I take that back. I started off winning money, to be honest with you, because Big Connect was doing its thing. You know what I'm saying? And I was making like $15 a day. It was other things, like I say, Regal Coin. I didn't get in Regal Coin. Then it was Devor Coin. I got in a Devor Coin, but I missed the pump on it. You know what I'm saying? So I got out right away because I saw I had missed the pump, so I got out and I didn't lose any money on that. At all, either. Now it was a whole bunch of clones that came after that, and they was all based on that same principle, and none of them did well. You know what I'm saying? If, unless you got in um, before the platform went live, and back then it was just an idea. You know what I'm saying? They had a pla they had a picture of what the platform looked like, and a lot of them had a timer saying it when it was gonna start, and they had a timer to deposit your token so you can buy in early. It was similar to what the IDOs are now, but way basic. And you was basically just investing on the idea. And some of them scammed out. They didn't even come out with a platform. Then other ones came out and it just it just uh it just 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 went flat, basically. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to put it. It went flat. And that was that, you know what I'm saying? So so that's my story, you know. That's my story of how your boy got started in cryptocurrencies. Um I hope that this was entertaining to you guys and informational. But I'm glad I got in when I did. I took my lumps. I came back from it. And I'm 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 better than ever. You know what I'm saying? So this is 
a inspirational story for some of you guys. Um, if you take a lit, you know what I'm saying? If you take a beating and you lose your money, don't give up. You know what I'm saying? You just got to find your way. That's it. Just find your way. Maybe watch some videos on YouTubers that can actually help you on that journey to you getting to where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, you once you get your get your feet wet and you start realizing that you're not going to win on every investment. You're going to take some L's and then you're going to have some wins. You know what I'm saying? You just got to have more wins than L's and you'll be all right in cryptocurrency. So with that being said, this is your boy, Pastor Crypto. Peace. I'm out.